Welcome to the homework for lesson 18. This is module 3 of grade 3. We're doing a lot of word problems here. Get your name on there first. <clears throat> Once you get started on these, you're not going to remember to go back and put your name on at the end. We're using the RDW process for each problem. That means when we read it, we're going to draw next and then write our equation. So it's very important to write the, to draw the picture first before you solve the problem because the idea is you want to draw a picture of the question not a picture of your answer uh, and, and explaining why your answer is reasonable is your picture Mrs. Portillo's cat weighs six kilograms her dog weighs 22 kilograms more than her cat what's the total weight of her cat and dog so here's the cat. <clears throat> Is cat is six kg. And the dog weighs doesn't weigh twenty two, it weighs twenty two more than the cat. So the dog right now sometimes you can do these in a math picture and it's a little bit easier than a tape diagram so I'm going to give you an example of both we have the dog is going to be longer than the cat right and we know that the dog is going to be that's the cat the dog is the same as the cat and 22 more right it's the cat plus 22 more what we want to find out is this whole thing all together so that's 6 plus 6 plus 22 no this is 12 And 12 and 22, you can do that mentally. Just look at the digits. Uh, you've got three tens and four ones, 34. Total weight is 34 kilograms. Now, if you were going to do this with a math picture, you could just do cat one two one two three four five six and call it cat and then dog is 22 more than the cat so it's one two three four five six and then hmm, 20 and then two more dog and then you can just count them all. It's almost the same thing, but here you, but it's important you have labels for these things. Darren spends 39 minutes studying for his science test. He then does six chores. Each chore takes him three minutes. How many minutes does Darren spend studying and doing chores? So let's see, he spends 39 minutes studying for his science test. So, we want to know studying and doing chores put together, right? So that's a tape diagram of studying and chores. Now let's figure out what they are. Studying, we already know. 39 minutes. He does six chores. So the chores tape is going to have to have six parts. One, two, three, four, five. And each chore is three more minutes. <clears throat> so we need to know this whole thing is what we're trying to find out. From this end to that end. 
from the left end to all the way to the right end. So the chores, that's three. How many threes is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six threes, which equals 18. So this part is 18. We have to add 39 plus 18. Seventeen is nine plus eight, and then we have fifty-seven. Darren spins. Oh, I need a. I could call this. This could be my equation right here, but really, I should say thirty-nine plus eighteen equals the question mark and that will connect this here this work here that's my evidence it will can this equation connects that to my picture right with because that's the question mark that's what i'm trying to find out darren spends 57 minutes studying and choring <laughs> doing chores mr abbott buys eight boxes of granola bars for a party each box has nine granola bars after the party there are 39 bars left how many bars were eaten during the party so okay so eight boxes of granola bars for a party a piece of tape with eight boxes one two three four five six seven lines inside makes eight boxes each box has nine i'm going to label this as one box nine g for granola bars these are all nines after the party there are 39 bars left so I could just, I could do this and say, with another color, and say, we need 39, right? So that's going to be three nines. That's 27. Another nine, that's 36. And then I'm going to need some of these nines here. To make my 39 <clears throat> right and because this this part here is four nines that's 36 so that's three here and the rest of this nine that I'm splitting up is going to be six so this these are the ones that were left and these ones here and I'll even highlight them there, not including that three that we had to break up from that nine. <clears throat> These were the ones that were eaten. We can just count them. We have one, two, three nines plus a six. Three times nine plus six equals e for eaten that's 27 27 plus six is 33 bars Or eaten now you could do this um, the way I think most third graders might do this if they don't draw the picture first uh, you're gonna make this into a two-step problem that you don't ha don't have to do <clears throat> but just to show you how much more work that you goes into it if you don't draw the picture first I'm gonna just to make that point 
and I'll write, I'm going to put all this part in red. First thing you're going to have to do is figure out how many granola bars there are. But you notice if you draw the picture, you don't have to know how many there are to begin with, but it's 8 times 9, right? And that's 72. And then you have to subtract from the 72, you have to subtract the ones that were left, 39. Right, and then that's, uh, we got a 12 there, 12 minus 9 is 3, right, and this is 6 left, 6 minus 3 is 3, 33, and that's how you get your 33. You have to multiply and subtract. Now here we did was we multiplied and added, so that's using a tape diagram to solve it. You could also, if you wanted to check, yeah, that's doing it a separate way, right? Using two different methods, get the same answer, that's a way to check it. We can also check it by adding the parts together. Add the 33 and the 36 and see if it adds up to 72. I mean, I'm sorry, add the uh, 39 and the 33 together and see if it adds up to 72. And it does. Leslie weighs her marbles in a jar, and the scale reads 474 grams. The empty jar weighs 439 grams. Each marble weighs 5 grams. So here, okay. Her marbles in the jar. Marbles in the jar together. So we have... Boy, this jar is heavy. Jar. That's 439 grams and then the whole thing is 474 grams and we have to know uh, how many fives do we need hmm so we first we got to figure out We can do a couple operations here. So one of the ways to do this is to figure out 474, the total, minus the part that's the jar, 439, and you could do that subtraction. And 14 minus 9, 5, 6 left, 6 tens left, 6 tens minus 3 tens is 3 tens, 35, and then you have to figure out 35 divided by 5 will equal how many marbles there are in the jar. M for marbles, right? Or which 35 divided by 5, you could also think of that as 5 times something equals 35. It's easier for you to think of it that way, and then you can count up how many 5's you need. It's 7. Or you can do this. You can just keep adding fives and can, until you get the total you need. If you use the picture. So two fives is ten, right? So now we're at 449. And another two fives is another ten. That's 459 have to get to 474. Another two fives, that's another 10, 469, and now you can see two more fives would get us 479, that would be too much, so we just need one more five. 469 plus five is 474. And then you can just count the fives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's a way to use your tape diagram to solve it. And I just did it two different ways. So that explains how my answer is reasonable. R7 marbles in, in, oops, not each, in the jar. And I could label this as 
These are marbles. <clears throat> Sharon uses 72 centimeters of ribbon to wrap gifts. She uses 24 centimeters of her total ribbon to wrap a big gift. She uses the remaining ribbon for six small gifts. How much ribbon will she use for each small gift if she uses the same amount on each? So let's just draw what it says there is right here in the beginning. 72 centimeters of ribbon. There's a piece of tape. It looks just like a piece of ribbon. And we know it is from end to end 72 centimeters. Now we know that 24 of this is the big gift. And now she has six small gifts, which is the rest of the tape. So that's one, two, three, four, five, makes six boxes. And this is um, S, look, I'll just use S for small gift. S, 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 S. And now you can figure this out. Uh, 72 And so we're going to figure out the total of the small gifts here by subtracting the 24 from the 72. 24 minus, um, let's just do, I'm going to, 72 minus 24. All right, and I can't subtract 4 from 2, so I'm going to break up one of those 10s. And now I have... 12 ones. 12 minus 4 is 8. 6 minus 2 tens. 4 tens left. 48. So we know we have 48 centimeters of ribbon divided by 6 small gifts equals S. And that's our equation. And we could do this. We could also do this by guessing. Uh, we could look at this and say, well, what if they're fives? When I pick numbers that are easy, could they be twos? Right? Could they be fives? Could they be tens? If they were tens, we'd have one, two, three, four, five. We'd have 50 here. So that would be, uh, if S was 10, that would be 50. Then 50 and 24 would be 74. So, oh, no, there's six gifts, right? So that would be 60. Sorry. So if S, if we guessed that S was, if we guessed, right, that S was equal to 10, then we'd have 24 plus 60, and that's 84, right? You can do that in your head. That's 84, and 84 is too big. So 10 is too big for S, but it's close, isn't it? So you could guess again. What if it's 9? Well, if S is 9, then you've got, you know, and you could just keep guessing like this. But here we have, we have an equation to solve. And 48 divided by 6. You could also look at this as 6 times S equals 48. If division is just too hard to figure out to look at. So it's easier to look at it as a missing factor problem. And that's 8. S will equal 8. Which is close enough to 10, right? So I mean, it's, we need something less to 10 that's close to 10. 8 is pretty close, right? 9 probably would have got us... Um, we could finish this out, but we don't have to. But we can see that right here. This tells us that it's close enough. This is our estimate here of using 10 tells us that our answer of 8 is reasonable. So we need to an answer statement in here somewhere, and I've run out of room. So I'm just going to have to write it in the middle. Each small gift takes 8 cm 
of ribbon. Six friends equally share the cost of a gift. They pay $90 and receive $42 in change. How much does each friend pay? So when you buy stuff, you have the cost and if you don't have exact amount to pay you get some change back and this is how much money they paid <clears throat> So we know that the change is 42. And six friends equally share the cost. So that we need one, two, three, four, five pieces for the cost. And we could do like we did before. We could guess 10, right? What if it was 10? Then we'd have 60 and 42 so like this would be cost so each friend shares the cost of the gift so we would have these are each friend pays f dollars so if we're going to make an estimate it would be 10 f's nope sorry that would be our estimate would be if F equals 10, then the cost is 60, and 60 plus 42 equals 102, and we know it's supposed to be 90, so our answer should be close to 10, but not exactly 10. It's going to be a little bit smaller than 10, just like we figured out before. So there's our estimate, so we, that's what we're going to figure out. Now we can see that this 90 and the 42, we have to figure out what is this cost. And then we can divide by F, or we can divide by uh, 6. So 90 minus 42. That's 10 minus 2 is 8. We have 8 tens left. 8 minus 4 is 4. That's 48. So we need 48. We're going to divide that by 6, and that's going to equal F. And if you re rewrite this as multiplication, 6 times F equals 48. And it takes 8 sixes to make 48. So F equals 8. And we need our answer statement. Each friend and this would be familiar too because we just we had to do 48 divided by 6 just in number 5 so we've already figured that one out so you might have noticed that each friend pays $8 <clears throat> 